Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're going to make the Leathered Last Word. <sighs> the Last Word is a great cocktail. It is. To put into our bota, right? Our wineskin. B-O-T-A. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I lapse into my native Spanish. <laughs> but this uh, gin cocktail is very nice. The perfuminess from the chartreuse is a fantastic combination with kind of the leatheriness you get from the wineskin. Mm -hmm. yeah? yep. Wineskin traditionally is for storing wine in and carrying it about when you're herding your sheep, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but we thought, hey, let's age some cocktails in there. Exactly. We like yeah. doing that in barrels, and we thought, let's try this with the wineskin. Mm -hmm. And so we have several cocktails that we're making videos on and that we've been experimenting with. Mm -hmm. Martina is another gin cocktail. That's right. And a lot of brown cocktails, too, like Manhattan, Old Fashioned. Yep, Toronto. Boulevardier. Right. Mm -hmm. We have a Negroni, too. Yeah. Another gin cocktail. And the um, the botanicals from the gin and the leatheriness from the wine bag is very nice. Yep. You do need to get a traditional wine bag because if you go like to a gift shop and you get like a touristy, you know, knockoff type thing, yeah. it, it's going to have like a, a rubber... Uh, bladder on the inside or, or like latex or something like that. So yeah. that's not going to work. You don't want to end up with a rubberized cocktail. Yeah. You want a leather cocktail. We don't want to, that does have a good ring to it, latex, last word, but yeah. we don't want to be filling up condoms around here, Phil. That would be no. gross. Yeah, that would be. <laughs> All right. So um, this recipe, we're going to tell you first the ingredients in parts, in mm -hmm. case you're using a different size wine skin here. We're using a three liter one, and that's what most of our recipes are geared for. Right. But if you have a five liter one or two liter one, you'll you can adjust that. So you need one part gin, one part green chartreuse, one part maraschino liqueur, mm -hmm. and then some sort of lactic acid, right? Right. Traditionally, it would be an e another equal part of lime juice. But that doesn't work well in a cocktail uh, aging barrel or in the yeah. wine skin. It kind of goes flat and it's not, it doesn't have a good limey taste for a while. Right. So we're using lactart, which is commercial brand of lactic acid, mm -hmm. right, which you can use, or you can just get lactic acid. Here, we get this from the brewery uh, supply shop, mm -hmm. northernbrewer.com. It's $4 for all this, and that lasts a long time because yeah. it's highly concentrated. So you can use either one. If you're using the lactart, which is 10% lactic acid, you're going to want to use 5 ounces per uh, bottle of gin. Mm -hmm. If you're using the 88% lactic acid, you're going to use a half ounce per 750 milliliter bottle of gin. Right? Right. So it's simple for a three liter wineskin. You use one bottle of each of these and then a half ounce of this guy. Easy. Yeah. All right, let's do it. <laughs> let's make it. I'm going to give you these two bottles to throw under a pitcher because they come out fast. Sure. The Luxardo guys have this thing that won't ever come out. So you got to yeah. like. Well, you usually don't want to use a whole lot of that stuff. No. Well, it's <laughs> the first time I had a last word, I was a little apprehensive because. An equal part of maraschino liqueur is, seems like a lot, right? And it's kind of scary. But with the chartreuse, it turns out to be just the perfect amount. Well, in the last word, the traditional last word cocktail has a great history. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, invented in 1921 by a forgotten bartender yep. um, at the Detroit Athletic Club. Yeah, and then uh, it wasn't published until 1951 in uh, Ted Saucier's book, Bottoms Up. And then it was kind of forgotten until uh, Murray Stinson from Seattle mm -hmm. sort of repopularized it. And now you see it almost everywhere. Yeah. But this is the first time you're going to see it in a wine skin. That's right. All right. <laughs> that, uh, killed me, Phil. <laughs> so you can use five ounces of the lactart. That comes from Canada. It's about $13 for this. But you got to ship it from Canada, so it's a little more. Right. Right. We use that a lot. We like it a lot. But this... Uh, we only, you need only half ounce of. Mm -hmm. And the first time you're making this, do it like this. Put it in a big bowl or something. And then just add the lactart little by little to taste. You may, you may like it a little more acidic. Lactic acid is a common food additive. It's in buttermilk and yogurt. It's what make, makes Pringles taste so good, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> and... Uh, you see lactic acid in lambic beers naturally in high, in high quantities. So it's a common thing, and it's sort of a subtle sour, right? Mm -hmm. Not real harsh, um, and it's great in this last word, and our barrel-aged last word also. Mm -hmm. Jake Valienis up in, at Linwood Essentials in Toronto was the one that sort of clued us in on the lactic acid. Yep. All right, now we're going to just dump this into our wine skin.
Nice. There we go. So you'll set this in the corner and forget about it. Yeah. You'll notice it changed the next day though. Mm -hmm. You'll start tasting the leather at two days for sure. Um, and it'll be perfect at about four days. Mm -hmm. We enjoy it from four days to two weeks. Okay. And um, if it gets too uh, leathery for you, or if you want to empty out your wine skin and put something else in there, mm -hmm. then you can bottle it. You yeah. can bottle it in like one of these big bottles or use a small six ounce bottle. If we're gonna store it in the freezer, we put in a third ounce of water and then fill it with the cocktail and cap it. Because we're storing it in the freezer, you're not gonna stir it with ice to chill it as right. you would a room temperature cocktail. Mm -hmm. That's why we add water. If you're gonna store it on the countertop at room temperature in bottles, then don't add the water, right? right? Mm -hmm. Then to serve this, you wanna pour about three ounces into a mixing glass, add ice, and stir it to chill, and then strain it into a coupe glass. And here you have your delightful, delicious, very fragrant, and leathery, leathered last word. Enjoy. Cheers.